we run a grazing enterprise in the southern tablelands of New South Wales. Well, the challenges have always been trying to match our, um, our production and stocking rates to our, to our um, feed availability and matching that with the changing climate conditions. Really good that they've done that. Here's the initial system. So the overall objective of the Farm 300 course is to increase profitability by 10% while simultaneously decreasing the greenhouse gas emission intensity by 30%. I think the, that the Farm 300 program is a structured program that we can access and to fine tune that information into the important relevant stuff that's going to impact on us and then we can take that away and try and implement it in our business. I think that's the key to this course. While it's difficult to us to impact directly on those emissions, what we can do is reduce the emission intensity by basically increasing productivity. We've identified that through modelling, feed utilisation has the capacity to do, to do that. So we're going to take each participant in the group and look at um, their businesses and their pastures and their stock and say, right here, how many stock have we got on hand? How much pasture do we have on hand? And then we're going to look at what expected growth rates are there over the coming months and what can we budget on considering the season, type of pasture, aspect and you know rainfall to date. We just completed a pasture budget yesterday. Um, we've come in above, above budget from the last measurement and we're currently running, including ewes with lambs, uh, about 30,000 DSE at the moment, which is great to see. But we'll be keeping a pretty close eye on that over the next month or so to make sure we match availability to those numbers. I would expect that you know, by implementing these strategies, we can see a change almost immediately because as we improve our utilisation, our productivity increases immediately. If the seasonal conditions go the other way and it's drier than normal, you know, we'll understand that we have to reduce our stock numbers to match that feed availability. And so we'll be back in control of our, of our production. We don't see it as our target is being reducing emissions as such per animal. What we are trying to do is reduce emissions as a total over the whole farm. And if we can in increase productivity and therefore profitability while doing that, you know, all of those things are very important to us in our business.